For this video, we're going to talk about number 24 defensive back and wide receiver Nathaniel Lugo of Walter Panis High School located right here on the screen. And this young man, 5'10", 180 pounds. He's at kind of a 4'7", a little bit below 4'7", 40 speed, solid speed guy, solid man-to-man -man technique. And he can play off coverage. He played some press man. And I thought he did a decent job of getting into good position on receivers, right? Getting into the hip. And even though if he got caught in, in a bad position sometimes, he did a good job recovering. He did a good job playing the ball through the man, finding the ball. He showed solid ball skills. And what I like the most about him is his versatility, right? He played at outside corner, played in the slot, played at the safety spot with a strong safety, free safety. That's why I call him a defensive back. Now, things he can work on, I think physicality is the biggest. I think he needs to get a little bit stronger. I think it'll help him in his press, man. I think it'll help him in the run game, just being a more physical overall player. But let's go over a couple plays I like. I mentioned he's located right here, and you can see he's at the outside corner spot. He's going to do some press man right here. You're going to see a fade on the outside. And you're going to see him open up his hips, run with him, get into the body of the receiver, and find the ball, right? So this all takes some good ball skills. Now, again, the physicality in the beginning you saw didn't get a great jam, but look at him get into the hip of the receiver and look at him find the ball. Right, this is really important. You got to get into the receiver. You got to play the ball through the man, and then spot the ball in the air, and then go attack the ball. Right? Almost jumped a little bit early, but he gets up just high enough to make this play. And again, when he gets a little bit stronger, he'll definitely help with his physicality on those press mans. But look at him get into the hip, hand on the on the receiver's hip, finding the ball and going to attack it. That's a good job. Let's watch him one more time. And look at him open up his hips, run with the receiver, and make a play. Here's him in the slot, right? So I like the versatility that he can bounce inside. And he's going to play man in the slot. And he's going to do a corner route. And again, let's watch him. Again, look at him backpedal. Look at him open up. Turn with the receiver. And again, even when he's caught a little bit out of position, right? There's a little bit of space right there. Look at him find the ball and attack it. Right? He's got good recovery to him. Let's show it again. They can definitely can work on the press part, but even when he gets initial separation, right? You see a little bit of separation right there. You see him trying to reach to get to his hip. He's got good recovery. Right? He gets into the recovery position, gets into finally good position right there where he can get into his hip. And he goes and attacks the ball. He finds the ball. Right? And that's the most important thing that he can do. Right? There's that recovery at the end that really closes down the space. So even when a receiver does get some space on him, he shows good man-to-man -man technique when he's in bad position to get back into good position. And he attacks the football. Now I think the big thing that he, you know, that definitely can be worked on, I talked about the physicality in the passing game that might help with against some of the bigger receivers and some of the press man stuff, but also in the run game. Right? Sometimes I feel he's a little bit hesitant, although I do think he's a solid open field tackler. And you're going to see a sweep right here. You're going to see a bunch of down blocks, right? And as a defensive back, you don't always want to stare in the backfield, right? You have to make some reads, especially against run-heavy teams. They'll show you that it is wrong. And you can see he's a little bit hesitant, but once he goes, look at this open field tackle, right? He shows that it's a strong tackle right there, even though he was a little hesitant in the beginning. But he comes up strong, and he makes this nice tackle in open field, right? One-on-one -on -one tackling. Let's watch one more time. And again, this is what you want to see from corners. You want to see corners get physical in the run game, not be afraid of the run game. All right here he is again, right? Similar team, run heavy team, double wing. They're going to run a sweep to him. This time the fullback's going to try to block him. And you got to be physical in these kind of moments. And this one he does. All right? The signs are there. All right? He reads it. Look at him fight through the block. And again, making this open field tackle. One more time. And he reads it this time, attacking it a little bit quicker. But look at him fight through that block, and he's going to make this tackle. And this was a solid kid I watched. And I'm excited to see what he worked on this offseason. 